name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch with me. First things first. So we are diverting just a little bit from the production code order of Miraculous Season 2. Now, I think some of you are very excited for me to watch Frightingale, but upon a, a advisement from my miraculous expert, uh, they kind of recommended that I move Frightingale towards the uh, middle to end-ish of the season, just because it works a little bit smoother there. It's not bad, but there's just a better point to watch it. So we're just going to push that episode back a bit. Um, I think we're putting it in after Frozer, just so you guys are aware. So today, though, we are having a double miraculous reaction. So we're going to be watching Gorzilla, 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 and Robustus. I don't, I don't know. My best guess is that like Gorzilla is like Alia's dad coming back and we're just having another like animal like akumatized but i don't know so i'm excited to watch these episodes we haven't watched like a double episode since the start of season two so i'm excited to kind of get to like watch it again like back to back and enjoy some more miraculous um miraculous week was really fun i'm glad that you guys enjoyed it just as much as i did it was a lot of fun just to give all my heart and love and just like focus on miraculous and just have fun um, but I had to catch up on other shows now, so boop -a -doo. Uh, at this point I should be pretty much caught up, which is nice, but yeah, so I'm excited. Hope you guys are as well. Please keep in mind to support the official release of Miraculous Ladybug, either on Netflix or on Disney Plus, depending on what country you're in. And if you like my content and want to see my full uncut reactions, you can check out my Patreon page, link down in the description below to get access over there. But without further ado, let's get started. Father, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Can I have a few minutes of your time? You think you think I care? Look at me. Do I look like I care? Look, just take it. Do I look like I care? Look at me. Look, just, no, Sharice, look at me. Do I look like I care? Look. Oh my god, are you joking? Oh my god, does that know? No. No. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god, is he gonna go confront his son? Shut up. No way. Uh-oh. <laughs> Natalie! Come through. I wanted to thank you. Fired. I beg your pardon? Fired. But I... Fired! Radiant. Carefree. Dreaming. The fragrance. was short-lived marinette girl you guys i've been waiting for you for 15 minutes where are you girl uh, uh, i was deciding which swimsuit to wear <laughs> uh-huh and maybe that helps you pick out a swimsuit girl. Oh, oh you bet it helps me pick out a swimsuit you bet it does girl as being Ladybug and Cat Noir, you know? Actually, I, I snuck out without permission. Aww. I was supposed to be at home with Natalie. Adrian and his girlfriend in the fountain! Oh! Adrian? What? In the fountain? With Marinette? Oh. <laughs> All he was like, yeah, girl! I don't care if you're late, get your man! <laughs> you know Alia is a true homegirl like that. Can you okay between you and your father? How could anything bad happen with my marinette lucky charm? Oh my god, you keep it with you? That's so cute! Oh! Oh, 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 we are. Oh? Oh my god. No! 
Don't tell me to pick up the charm. Is this really the time, Gabriel? I don't know, but he's hiding something for sure. Since his bodyguard has failed to keep an eye on Adrian, there's only one way for us to uncover his secret. Noodles, Dark Queen's rise. Wow, so he actually... Oh, we've been actually seen like the whole like magical girl transformation. <laughs> I like the like the like. Find him in fast. Oh my gosh, dude, he's trying to find your son though. Like, why are you? Why are you being like this? Anger and frustration, perfect fodder for my Akuma. Well, I guess actually he'd find your son much quicker if he was akumatized, actually. So actually, you know, I was doubting you, but for the first time, this actually seems helpful. Does you just never talk? Run. Oh. 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 That's terrifying. Without these disguises, we never would have made it here. No, it was your idea to duck into the Star Theater, remember? That was smart. Actually, this is where I was hidden when those crazy fans suddenly showed up. Thanks to you, my father Aww. will find out. But I'm not sure my father would have allowed me to see this particular movie. Oh, no. See, my mother played the leading role. Wow. Oh. We have no idea. Solitude. Amelie. Amelie? Amelie? Amelia? Adrian in a helmet at the movies with his girlfriend wearing a towel. Oh. Adrian's at the movies. Dude, you got a serious problem. Oh, I like how they like intentionally blocked mom in that shot. Are you my bodyguard? Let him go. Let him go. Oh. Lady boy. Oh wow, we are just going for it already. Oh, that's crazy. Helicopter. Yeah, his hands are. Yeah. <laughs> you have to trust me. Oh. Always. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. If you don't transform soon, you might wind up like a gooey pile of cannon bears. I can't play. Not in the open like this. I'm sure Lady has a plan. If you are Cat Noir, then transform some, please. Oh, that was interesting. Like his, like, sadness. Cat Noir, help! What a gamble, though. <laughs> wow. Ballsy. I know he didn't, like, want his son to fall to his death. Whoa. <laughs> Cat Noir will be here soon. <laughs> Oh, he's going to think he's Adrian now. He's coming. Hurry up, Kevin Mark. Wow, she's gifted a lot of extra time, huh? Don't worry, Adrian. I will let it take care on your head. Kevin Mark, side by side. So I was wrong. Okay, cool, and now he's under. This is Cat Noir Express Deliveries. Did you order a giant beast filet? I knew I could count on you, Kitty. Aww. Where's Adrian? Just safe. I'm very sorry, but I'm gonna have to slip it your pocket. Here you are. Oh, that's actually really sad that it's her lucky, you know, her lucky charm. And she had to break it. Adrian, are you okay? It's totally fine, right? See, if I were you, I wouldn't hang around too long. Unless you don't mind revealing your secret identity to all of us. <laughs> Bye, Adrian! Bye, Kitty. Bye, Cat. That was Cat, too. Thanks for your help, Adrian. Uh, awesome! Oh, I didn't realize he still had the mask on. I'm really sorry. I posted that photo on the internet. Oh. too bad at me. Uh, Is that your email? Yeah. If you can manage to stop running after me screaming, I'm sure we could be good friends. <laughs> I promise, Adrian. Yeah. Okay, Merida, we all saw your pics online, but we're totally <laughs> lost. We need to go great. Not surprised. Aww. Sit down, Adrian. Hey, Dad. Aww. Aww. All you had to do was ask me. 
I'm sorry, Father. I tried to talk to you, but you were so busy. In fact, I always feel like you don't want to talk at all, so... You should have trusted me, son. It's important for you and I to be able to trust each other. If you were to begin hiding the truth from me... Oh, gosh. Then I'd naturally start imagining all kinds of things. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Let's go! What the hell? the hell what is that that's not the like weird like butterfly uh captivity that we see that's like something completely different what this is so eerie and ominous what is this so they showed like mom turning and then it went down is that mom is that mom in there? What is she doing in there? Okay, I think this is the first time that I've ever felt severely, like, confused and concerned at the ending of a Miraculous Ladybug episode. Like, what is going on with mom? Uh, Amelia? Amelia? Is that her name? Amelie? Amelia? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it very well. But, um... Why is mom in, like, a, like, sanctuary? Like a, like some odd Mr. Freeze's wife type of situation? Is that what's happening? Like, why? She's been gone for, like, a year. We don't actually know that she is dead. But Adrian, like, hasn't seen her in a year. Um, at this point, I feel like she, like, like, they said she just got lost or ran away somewhere. But, like, Adrian's, like, dead set that mom is, like, gone. And, like, he can't contact mom. So, like, what was he told about mom? It's very weird. Like, I just have no idea. Um, hopefully we figure out what what is going on with her and why she is being held in the aggressed basement basement? Because we have the weird butterfly sanctuary, but we also have this place as well, which is terrifying. So, like, what is happening? And I'm guessing now, since we know where mom is, it seems as though we're not entirely reviving the dead with our wish. So... What happened to mom? We know that Gabriel has the um uh butterfly moth, whatever you want to call it. Miraculous, and he also has the peacock. We saw that. So my only guess is like mom is in a critical state and has been for a while. And it has something to do with the Peacock Miraculous. Because we got that. And then he was like, this is the... Didn't he say that book was the last gift his wife gave him? So they must have got the Miraculouses. And then she got, like, sick from hers or something. Which is odd. And now he's trying to use his Dark Wings Miraculous to fulfill his ultimate wish... From getting the miraculous sis, miraculous size to help his wife recover, basically. I don't know. It's a little weird. But, huh. Uh, very odd. I know I haven't really even talked about the majority of the episode yet, but that part just really was weird. Very, like, out of nowhere. Which, not complaining about. I like that we're getting some of these, like mysteries starting to like come to light I won't say unravel but come to light it definitely makes me want to keep watching and it really helps me understand Gabriel a bit more even though I don't know but it seems like I mean obviously he's like a really bad dad um pretty uh pretty toxic uh pretty uh negligent so I mean, I'm glad he let 
his son watch the movie since he figured out that that's what his son was doing. I'm glad he doesn't super sus- like suspect Adrian as being Cat Noir anymore. I'm glad. I felt like he did back in season one when we had the uh one where he thought he was an airplane. <laughs> So I'm glad that he's kind of like backing off that. Um, But moving back on to uh, this episode, like number one, I have to say I love my girl, Alia. I love Alia so much. She's I think she is my favorite character in the show. I really adore her. She's such a good friend. I like that she stands up for Marinette. I like that she helps Marinette. Um become braver and more bold in herself and more confident. I really enjoy it. Alia is such a hype girl and she just, she's like just real. She's always real. And I deeply appreciate that about her. So I love that. Like, she's like, man, like, come on, like, where are you going? And the second she sees a photo of her and Adrian, she's like, oh girl, take your time. It's fine. We're just going to be here watching the feed and see more photos of you two. Like I'll wait for the dirty deeds till later. <laughs> Like, I love it. She's absolutely hilarious. Such a treat. So I love my girl. I love Alia. She's literally amazing. Anytime she's in the episode, the episode is always better. So adore her. But like, go Marinette. Like, she got to kind of hang out with Adrian the whole day. Yeah, it wasn't the most fun. But she did get to find out a bit about him and like about his mom and stuff too. So that was really nice. And like, she also got to see that he still has the lucky charm, which is really cute. Um, Along with that, since production order and airing order is all kind of jumbled up, I don't think technically in this episode, technically she has uh, Adrian's charm from uh, Bifana. Um, just with how it goes, I don't think they're going to acknowledge that yet. Which is fine, but we know in our hearts she has it. So it makes us, it makes me really happy to know they both have like the lucky charms from each other. It's really cute. Uh, A very cute little like exchange between friends. They are friends. Um, for now. (laughs) You know their end game. Like, let's be honest. Um, there's no if, ands, or but. They're just end game. So I like this episode. Um, it's really funny that we watched the the baby episode because I thought Bodyguard was going to get akumatized in that episode, and then not long after, Bodyguard gets akumatized in like an episode, two episodes after or something. So I had a good laugh about that because I had thought he was getting it before, and then he just still gets akumatized. Like poor dude, <laughs> dude doesn't even like talk. Like, I feel bad for <laughs> Oh, But overall, I like this episode a lot. It had a lot of cute um, Adrian and Marinette moments. We had a uh, Ladybug and Adrian moment. No, no Cat Noir and Marinette moments, though. So I thought this was fun. It was a goofy episode with the Adrian, like, cologne and stuff. (laughs) So it was nice. It was a fun time. And yeah, it left me with a mystery about why mom is stuffed in the under-under basement of the mansion. That's cool. Um, that's, that's fine. (laughs) So we are continuing on. We're going to be watching, um, Robostus? Robostus. Robostus. I couldn't tell you what this episode's about. A uh, robo? Ro- robo? Someone's gonna become a robot? That's my best guess. Like, a uh, robo from Amphibia? So, I don't know. But I am very excited to continue watching. Hope you guys are as well. So, without further ado, let's continue! Chloe a little bit. Again. Oh my god. You left your brain in there too, girl. Oh, hi, Chloe. Why does Sabrina have green in her hair? 
Of course you are my best friend. I'm 100% affirmative, but I am also 98.2% positive that teachers are not ready for this advancement of evolution. Are you giving akumatized again? No! My name is Marta! Why? Well then. Everything is in order. Really? Congratulations, young man. Your friend's just a talking calculator. There's nothing evolved about that. Don't listen to her, Markov. That girl is the lowest of the low when it comes to- Why does Sabrina's hair, like, have green in it? Why does Sabrina have green in her hair? I'm very perturbed by this. A robot may be intelligent, but it can't have emotions. It's your name now. I can assure you that I truly love Max. Be serious, Aww. Max. You programmed a robot to say that. A robot cannot think for itself, much less love anybody. I swear to you, I did not program him to say that. Kind of the, the turning test, isn't it? Turing? Turing test? You're not being reasonable, Mrs. Noodleia. Stop it, Markov. It's true, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. I recognize that music in the background. Get your robot back at the end of the day. No, Mr. Damon, please. That's the music when something's going to be you want to attention, too? No, but, sir. Okay, wait, but, but if this thing is going to get akumatized, then that means it actually has, like, feelings and stuff. Two dear friends who've been separated. There is nothing artificial about those emotions. But if we can just akumatize a robobot, what's stopping Hawk Moth from just mass producing robobots? We could just make a whole army of robobots. Huh. Robustus, I am Hawk Moth. But in return, oh, I no. wanted to bring me Ladybug and Cat Noir. Oh, so, uh, where's the light? They're the magic jewels. What is the purpose of these jewels? This is none of your concern. I was just being curious. Aww. If used together, they can make a wish come true. Huh. Could I make any wish come true? No. The miraculous and the wish will belong to me. I assure you, I will find Ladybug and get more. Huh. First person to ask what they are and why. <laughs> That's really interesting. You've made a serious error in judgment, Mr. Principal. Uh oh. <laughs> then transformer robot in disguise oh shit <laughs> where are you max max my friend come to me leave me alone oh She would have died, but she probably would have broke her leg. Normally, inanimate objects have come to life, taking control of Paris. Where's the camera Broadcasting working? Live from City Hall, the new mayor has just made a declaration. Ah! Is that Morse code? Do you need subtitles? I speak several languages. Humans will soon be treated the same way as objects? Uh-oh. Oh. <gasps> it's a trap! He's trapped us in here. Oh no! I told you that giant hard drive would be trouble! How about you give us a cataclysm right now? I can't! I can barely breathe! Now oh. you are at my mercy! Robusters! Before you get rid of them forever, you must take their miraculous for me! Ladybug and Catalar haven't done you any wrong! Let them go! Oh. Then I'll be able to make my wish come true! What wish? I want to be a real human like you, Max! What's this about making a wish? Remind you that the miraculous are for me, robustness. And how do you intend to stop me from using this? Oh! I'll take your power away from you. <laughs> you really thought you could control me? Intrusion! Intrusion! Elimination mode activating. I'm more powerful than you, Hot Oh my god! <sighs> wow! Okay, this is cool! Don't you love me anymore? Aren't we friends? Oh. If you want us to remain friends, you've got to stop this right now! I'm friends with Markov, not you! Robustus's opinion changed there. This bitch disgusting. Ah! <laughs> so predictable. Analyze this. Cool. Oh, 
local a death spread to the whole thing. I didn't know if it would or just the car. Really? Is that your last hope? Enjoyable. Here's your friend. Perhaps it's best if I don't. Everyone can feel negative emotions from time to time. It's important to accept that and forgive. Aww. Are there some things you haven't told me about yet? Oh, Guardian. What would happen if someone possessed Cat Noir's ring and Ladybug's earrings, Master? Then the bearer could use them conjointly, and with a special invocation, obtain the ultimate power the one that shapes reality. Oh. Basically, it can make any one wish come true. The universe's balance is at stake. Hmm. Neither Hawk Mom nor anyone else will ever get their hands on a miraculous master. I promise. Huh. All right. Good to finally, like, know more about that. So, Robustus. Um, Robustus. Robustus. I like that this season is very okay with the fact that we can kind of muddle into like Hawk Moth a bit more. I really enjoy that fact because season one, like Hawk Moth, basically every time, same formula, same thing. It's almost same thing said every time he was shown when the window was opening up, he sent it out, done with, and then he just remind them like, get the miraculous. And I was like, it. And then we get the like, well, next time speech. But I like that we're able to show a bit more of his character, especially now that we know that he's Gabriel. We're actually getting some Hawk Moth emotion and realizing that everything is going to go as planned. Um, the gigantic Titan was a good one with the baby. Um... And this one was another one where it didn't go quite the same way, where he got flustered and upset that, like, he had to explain why he wants the miraculous and what it does, and that he actually almost got taken out by the person he akumatized, which is really interesting to me. Because if people, like, weren't so blinded by their own hatred they'd probably be able to sink through the same way Robustus did and like be like, well, I want that wish. Like, why do you want them? Like, okay, well, I'm gonna take it from you and I'm gonna get my wish instead. It's, it's clever, but you know, humans are just so muddled into their own thing that they just can't understand. They're, they get blinded by hatred. And I think maybe Robustus didn't have that hatred fully. I don't know. It's very interesting. So yeah, I like the fact that like Hawk Moth had to like fight for his life basically because he was going to get um, murdered by a robot. Um. Also, why does Hawk Moth have all those weapons in his little dome as well? It's a little concerning. Like, why was there so many rockets in there? Like, why was that able to happen? Maybe we shouldn't do that. Like, why does he just want to, like, explode that room on, like, a moment's notice? Very, very odd. Oh, no. Especially because New Year's in there. So, like, your miraculous might die. So, definitely concerning. Along with that, uh, it was nice that Max got, like, another episode showing, showing off himself a bit more. I felt like the uh, the gamer episode was maybe not able to be taken as seriously as I wish I should have. Because Max seems to be a nice character. He seems to be very genuine. I like that him and, um, I don't know why I always want to call him Chris. Uh, Kim seemed to, like, have this friendship going. Like, we saw them at the zoo and stuff. So, it's fun that, like, the jock and the nerd are, like, friends. And that, like, Kim was like, oh, cool, you added, like, an arm. Like, that's awesome. Like... I'm glad they're friends. I'm glad they care. I'm glad they bonded. It's a really nice little, like, friendship to, like, see develop in the background of it all. And that uh, it's cute to see the class kind of bond with each other. 
and to understand that they are friends besides Chloe. But for the majority of it, they are friends and they do support each other. So it's really cute. Um, why did Sabrina have the green in her hair? Like, I need to look that up. Like, I legitimately don't remember Sabrina having green in her hair. Am I crazy? Like, is that just... No, she doesn't have green in her hair. There's no green in her hair at all. It's orange. Why was it green there? It was so weird. No idea why that was like that. I kind of want to, like... Google it to find out why that was there. Yeah, green hair. Like, why? Why is her hair green? Why is her hair green? No one has an answer. Okay, cool. Love it. Love it. Glad. That Was that just an animation error on her? Don't know. No one has an answer. So I'm guessing it must have just been an animation error. And uh, uh, it's a very odd one because, like, the model should just have a base hair color. So I don't know why it would be different. Um, unless they accidentally, when they're working on it, did a texturing mistake. I don't know. Very odd to me. But granted, I understand that after season one, the show started really, like, throwing out episodes to different um, animation studios to work on. So there's going to be some inconsistencies like, uh, wasn't it in uh Bifana? I think I pointed that out too, that at the party, um, uh, Alex, I think that's her name. Uh, Alex's hair was like black, super weird, such an odd, like mistakes to have. Like I get like someone not blinking or like being even T-posing or something, but like to have a different hair color, that's like a texturing thing, which is just weird to me. So I don't know. Super odd. But overall, I like this episode. Uh, Markov was really kind and sweet. I definitely, uh, I am one who really likes technology. I certainly will not always buy the newest, greatest technology, but I'm always looking it up. I'm always fascinated to see kind of the changes and development process of it all and kind of how we are progressing past. So I love that kind of stuff. I find it very interesting. So the idea of having like robot companions is actually very um, enticing to me. Not that I think they should ever replace human interaction, but I think for a lot of people, especially um, in the uh, uh, like, China, uh, Japanese workforce, um, people suffer from severe loneliness, uh, and depression and their, excuse me, but rates of, um, suicide is much higher. So they have been trying to develop like robot companions. And I know, you know, it seems absurd, but it actually does help to have someone to talk to. And that you don't have to worry about their well-being of sorts, if that makes sense. It doesn't have to be like this two-sided relationship, which with humans, it should be a two-sided relationship. Where when it's a robot that technically cannot feel or have actual genuine emotions or feel bad that, you know, you didn't ask it how its day was, it works out very nicely. Yes, it could probably create some selfishness or um, neuroticism in some individuals. But I think for those people who, you know, spend 10 to 12 hours at an office all day and have no one to come home to, it can be very beneficial to just be able to de-stress yourself to um, a creature that does not have to hold those burdens, if that makes sense. So I like that idea. And I just genuinely love technology. Like I love VR technology. All of it's very, very interesting. So I am always a supporter for advancement in technology. I think it's always really cool. And as being someone who grew up when we had um, landlines and uh, then saw like the big cell phones to then getting Nokias, to getting flip phones, to playing like a Game Boy in darkness to getting a Game Boy like light adapter to getting a uh, SP with a light button that you can make the screen light up 
uh, to getting DS, to getting super cool consoles. Like, I've seen, and, like, personal computers, laptops. I think technology is just amazing. And I grew up in such a period where we were constantly advancing. And every four years, something 10 times more amazing came out. Like, literally, like, iPad Nano to fucking, like, I iPod Touch to, like, literal iPhones. It's all so cool to me. So I love it. So this episode definitely kind of had like a hint of that in there where it's like, yeah, <laughs> go technology. So I had a very fun time watching both these episodes. It was really fun. Uh, these two definitely had a lot of like Hawk Moth moments in them. So I definitely enjoy that because I love learning more about Hawk Moth and Gabriel Aggress and the whole Aggress family. So I had a fun time. Hope you guys did as well. Please keep in mind if you like this video to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if I missed anything and I will see you all later.